What's up? We're back with another video. Today we're talking about four different ways to deload. No introduction needed. Let's get right into it. But wait, what's a deload? So according to the old Wikipedia, a deload is a decrease in intensity for short-term recovery. So why do we do this? It lets us lift more weight. Let's just get harder training sessions in because we are less fatigued. So we look at the fitness fatigue model here. Although you have more fitness after this training session, your overall performance goes down just simply due to the amount of fatigue you have. As fatigue dissipates, performance goes up. If you give it a long enough time, your fitness will start to go down, which decreases your performance. I'm right, gonna stop right there. Before we get any farther, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for all you that do that. Secondly, leave a comment. Let me know what type of deload you do based off the four we're going to go into. Here's the first type. I call this the what is a deload guy. So this is usually a beginner simply because they don't know you should take some time off and that recovery is as important. And when you are in those beginning stages, you do see a lot of rapid increases in strength and size. So a deload is not always necessary. The pros of not doing a deload is that you always are having stimulus in your body and your muscles can continue to adapt. You also get more reps. If you're not taking time off, you're going to be able to get those good reps after reps, week after week, to build a good motor program. So hopefully you can have good technique. Now one of the cons, you're really increasing your risk of injury, overtraining, and just being burned out. Not recommended unless you're a beginner. Second type of deload, this is why I call it vacation deload. This type of person who will just take an entire week off and that's their deload. They don't do any type of training. They may go on a walk or something real light like that, but they're not actually getting in the gym and lifting any weights. Is this the best way to do it? It does decrease fatigue by quite a bit because you're not lifting anything. It's super easy to program, just don't go. And it does give you more free time to do other things you enjoy doing besides lifting. However, you're not giving your muscles any stimulus to continue to practice your technique. So you often see with these people, once they come back, those first few days feel a lot harder because their body kind of just forgot what to do. If we go back to the fitness fatigue model, they're not raising their fitness at all. So although the fatigue is coming up and performance might get a little better, they're not getting actually better. They're just not sucking as much. The third type, this is what I call the lightweight deload. This type of person goes into the gym, they may do a three by five at 30 to 50% of what they were doing. Pros to this way, they're still in the gym and it still decreases fatigue. The cons though, usually we don't actually really need good technique to lift 30% of what we were doing. Let's take squat for example. If you're a quad dominant squatter and you do 30%, you're only gonna focus on your quads for that lift. Your glutes are not gonna do anything because they simply don't need to for that 30%. You're probably not going to have good form because you'll fly through it like it's nothing. So at the end of the day, what are you really doing? You're getting a good pump, okay, but you're not reinforcing good technique. And what gets you a better max? Good technique or small pump one day? Fourth way, we have the undeload deload. What I mean by this is we're not actually deloading or taking any weight off the bar. We're leaving it exactly the same as we were, we're just doing less reps. So instead of doing a three by eight, 315, you may do a three by five for 315. Now 315 for eight might actually be difficult, but for five, it should not. But at the same time, you're still gonna need a good technique. You're still going to get some stimulus to increase your fitness, but you're not gonna induce as much fatigue as you would if you're doing for eights. Also, you feel like you actually did something. I know when I've done only 30% for a bench, I'm kind of just going through the motions and to me it felt like a waste of time. I didn't feel like I really did anything. Well, when I do a deload for the same amount of weight as I was doing before, just fewer reps, I feel like I got something accomplished today. One con to this is you're still lifting heavy, so there is still that risk compared to if you just did 30% of your one rep max. Now there are other ways to deload. You can take some time off and do some other sports that you enjoy doing or just changing up your stimulus. Overall, I would recommend the fourth method, the undeload deload. We've seen the research that volume is more equated to fatigue than intensity is. So you can keep your lifts intense without having that huge volume. It'll keep your fitness up, 
it will keep your fatigue low, which overall will increase your performance. Now, if you didn't hit that like button earlier, now's your chance. Go ahead and hit it. And let me know down in the comments what type of dealer do you like to do. That's it, guys. Live safely.